Hello my dear students in this session let us discuss about the morphological morphological characteristics of bacteria morphological characteristics of bacteria so bacteria which we all know that it is a prokaryote which we have learnt in our previous session are of different types and these types are characterized based on morphology what is the morphology what does morphology means the shape of the bacteria how it looks based on that there are different categories the bacteria are grouped into today let us discuss the different categories of bacteria and we will uh, elaborate each category so based on the shape the bacteria can be grouped as one spherical two rod shape three spiral shape four comma shape comma generally spherical means round or oval a rod means spiral means comma shape so these are the four category major categories the bacteria are grouped into based on their shapes but along with this we also have number 5 star shaped bacteria number 6 sheeted bacteria which is inside the sheet filamentous which are into filament which form filaments lobed shaped bacteria stalked shaped bacteria then box or rectangular shaped bacteria rectangular shaped bacteria 11 appendaged shaped bacteria 12 pleomorphic shaped bacteria 13 spindle shaped bacteria 14 helical shaped bacteria so these are some of the forms but in today's class let us discuss the first form spherical or round or oval shape bacterias these are the group of bacteria which are called as cocci my dear students in microbiology spherical means cocci these are spherical or round shape bacterias which are termed as cocci now under these cocci there are different types there are different types which you need to remember and in order to remember you need to follow a small story here for example 
cocci shaped bacteria which is nothing but round just imagine this is a single person and he gets married and they become two then kids two kids then the family starts growing but they all live together so from single two then four then these two kids get married and they they start growing then from here again they start growing into big number further they start growing and get separated so now the single person is called as mono caucus after getting married they are called as diplococcus then after children they are called as streptococcus then after these children get married they are called as tetrad then this is called as staphylo coccus then this is called as sarsine so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so total six types of cocci are present so example let's start writing the example for this monococcus who is a single person example for this is micrococcus micrococcus rose everybody remember rose as micrococcus roses next diplococcus the example for diplococcus is enterococcus enterococcus these are present inside our body as well next when they are when they become four streptococcus very easy to remember streptococcus streptococcus pneumoniae so streptococcus pneumoniae right or streptococcus pyogenes tetrad example for this remember aeroplane aerococcus so for single cocci we call it as monococcus example mo micrococcus roses diplococcus enterococcus streptococcus 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 pneumonia streptococcus pyogenes tetrad aerococcus staphylococcus very easy to remember staphylococcus aureus a u r i u s aureus staphylococcus aureus then sarsine you just need to remember the name itself sar sina ventriculi sarsina ventriculi <coughs> so this will be single this will be in pair this will be in chain this will be a group of four 
this will be in the form of cluster this will be in the form of packed so this these are the different types of cocci there are six types of cocci one is single micro monococcus example micrococcus in pair diplococcus diplo means two example enterococcus in chain streptococcus example streptococcus pneumoniae and in cube tetrad aerococcus staphylococcus in clusters staphylococcus aureus packed cocci which are packed sarsina example sarsina ventriculi so these are some of the different shapes under cocci so you need to remember this for your examination now let us see what are the characteristics of of these cocci common characteristics of these cocci the first in the list is they are spherical round in shape the second in the list is they are metabolically active third in the list is the cell division or their multiplication takes place via binary fusion the fourth in the list is they do not do not have flagella majority of them do not have flagella and are non motile the fifth in the list is they do not produce endospores the sixth in the list is the cell wall is made up of made up of peptidoglycan which we had discussed yesterday or in our previous class cocci seventh in the list is cocci might be gram positive or gram negative example for gram positive you can give staphylococcus aureus example for gram negative you can give moraxella species moraxella species and some of them are capable of causing infections number 8 infections example staphylococcus aureus causes respiratory tract infection respiratory tract infections and streptococcus pneumoniae can cause pneumonia and fever so these are some of the eight points common points which you need to remember along with the characterization or uh, uh, classification of cocci with different shapes if you write everything the different shapes along with example and this then you will get full marks so with this let me conclude today's video and in future videos i will be discussing uh, discussing one more uh, group of bacteria and their different types based on the morphological characteristics until then see you if you have any doubt please comment us or contact us
थैंक यू